your brother Makaza. You already know what this is. This is Scriptures No Van Opinions. It's also Trumpets of Zion, which is the camp page. Uh, you know, the other teachings and lessons. Um, but I wanted to touch into this real quick and smash uh, this dude, No Homo, uh, because uh, the brother uh, Fo, uh, Salakia, Yehuda, uh, he made, you know, a video cutting this clown. And I dealt with him on the comment board, but he's always on every video, you know, running his mouth, Canaanite this, Canaanite that. You know what I'm saying? And these clowns is really getting bold. These, these, well, I call them hitos, but these hito onlys is is really getting bold with this doctrine. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I didn't shut shut all of that down with Ayash with the uh, the the gypsies and all of that. I showed yes, yeah, uh, the, they were black, they were Negroes. Okay, but it's like even even for them to be talking about, uh, you know, because they don't agree that Christ is a black man, but yet the Jews were uh, the color, you know, the color of the Ethiopians decided to say they descended from the Ethiopians. I'm going to bring all of that out. But for the, the point is, if they're to be compared to Ethiopians, what do you think the Lord would be? Okay, so the, these guys aren't bright. These 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 dudes ain't really smart. Okay, that's why their doctrine is is trash. Like everything they bringing out could easily be debunked. Okay, and this this little lesson alone is gonna smash everything in regards to what this dude is talking about. Cause he keep talking about he debunked uh, uh, Amos nine and seven, but here he is. He he tells uh, Yehuda, okay, Mister Ham, the Bible is not about skin color. And then he, he quotes James 1 and 1. First of all, you clowns aren't scattered like James says. James 1 and 1 to the 12 tribes scattered abroad. You clowns aren't scattered abroad in all, all countries like the Negro. So first off, y'all cut, cut with that. Two, it does because if Vitalago, again, there's many scriptures that show like the leprosy of Israelites. So they had to have a, a certain pigmentate uh, melanin. And the lack of pigmentation or that vitiligo, leprosy, uh, which, yeah, uh, I did the lesson on the New Testament, how, how the Lord said Clean, cleanse the lepers. It was speaking about uh, the physical yeah, loss of pigmentation. So, yes, it has a, uh, a characteristic of color. Okay, so this clown don't know what he's talking about. All right, but, um, so like, yeah, but the sister, I just wanted to quickly, uh, touch on this because the sister was like uh, a guy from Sakari camp which again it's the, these camps man y'all y'all need to fall back because you do not know history but it says a, a guy from Sakari camp said Hispanics and natives went into slavery they were taken from America and taken back to Africa as slaves which I showed the the virgin of the navigators uh, see I didn't even want to bring that out but uh Real quick, let me touch into this. So, the version of the navigators, because, yeah, they talk about, like, you know, the Tainos, and, and a lot of these these dudes always say, oh, yeah, uh, Latinos was, uh, or, or Natives was shipped before Judah came, and all of this stuff. No, those were Negroes that were shipped to Spain. Okay, but yes, they also uh, went to Africa, which, uh, you know, various lessons I've done, I've shown that, and I, I might do other future lessons. But as you can see, uh, these Negroes right here are woolly, woolly hair. Okay, and this right here is supposed to be Columbus. Okay, so I, I didn't want to go into this, but I just wanted to show real quick, you know, for, for to answer the sister's question. Okay, so um, Negroes were the ones that went to Spain and to Africa and, you know, a lot uh, sent back as well. Okay, but he's all, he talking about he debunked nine, Amos 9 and 7 many times, which which I'm going to deal with that. But yeah, like stuff like this, Canaanite lives matter. Just bold with it, running his mouth. But, you know, just, yeah, Yehuda brought it out. I, I did a lesson showing how how they can be, how the, the tables can flip and they can actually be the ones from Canaan. Okay, and I, I showed that a, a church uh, uh, with, with H people, <laughs> you know, like like uh, elders say. But yeah, H people, uh, it actually said that, uh, or their church was called uh, Canaan. Or in Glacia uh, de Canaan. Matter of fact, let me just show it why uh, I'm here since. And in Glacia uh, de Canaan. Okay, so I forgot which which one it was. 
Okay, here it is. All right, so <laughs> the church, the church is called uh, Canaan, Iglesia Canaan. All right, so these dudes just pushing a, a, a damn Mormon doctrine. That's all it is. They just pushing a Mormon doctrine. All right, so from there on this one, you know, like the brother bringing out Amos nine and seven, which uh, you know I'm gonna I'm show some things. Because, yes, we was compared to Ethiopians, okay? It's twofold, okay? The Most High is comparing it to us, the, the actions of the Ethiopians, but also uh, the characteristics of their look as well. And showing, I'm going to show some other sources, you know what I'm saying, to make it plain, all right? So, um, you know, like I said, I dealt with him, and he was talking about... Uh, you know, you won't find Mexicans claiming they're, they're Africans or Canaanites or whatever, which the Jews you had during Maccabees, we weren't allowed to call ourselves Jews anymore. So what would we be calling ourselves? Greeks. Does that mean we're of, of Esau or Japheth? No. Okay, like uh, it says that we were supposed to be uh, labeled, those of Jerusalem to be labeled as the Antiochians. Okay, you dummy. <laughs> So I mean, these, this dude is a joke, and then he want to battle. He want to talk about Paul wasn't compared to an Egyptian, okay? But I mean, it's clear that he was, because the Greek was 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 Paul wearing uh, 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 Egyptian attire? No, you know what I'm saying. Most likely, he was not wearing no type of Egyptian attire for the Greek to be like, oh, you're an Egyptian, ain't you that Egyptian such and such? No. Because they were the same color complexion of people. Because Herodotus himself said that the Egyptians were black. Okay, but these dudes don't want to want to deal with these things. All right, but yeah, you African. Yeah, he, then he went on to say that I'm a Mason and all of that bearing false witness. So I, I I don't have time for that. So I'm like, now you bearing false witness, demon. Okay, so I'm off your foolishness. Cause yeah, that I'm all I deal with is the knowledge, the the sources, the the scriptures. All of that. That's all I deal with. I don't. I don't like dealing back and forth. The name calling. You know what I'm saying? All he talk. Oh, you Africans. You Africans. Okay. So, again, you just mad. <laughs> he mad. All right. But the other other brother cutting. You know what I'm saying? Can the Ethiopian change his color? Cause then he want to say that. Uh, Cause the Zonovan. Uh, you know he the Zonovan gonna put some. Uh, the dark races are not the dark races um, that the Ethiopians were dark and some Caucasian went which I mean when have you when have you seen a white Ethiopian <laughs> you know what I'm saying so uh, and the other thing yeah just going back to what, what I was saying he was trying to say like Sonetta uh, yeah your own people Africans in America claiming to be Canaanites which you know like I just uh, brought how we were calling ourselves Greeks and things like that but I was like Sonetta claims Egyptian there's a difference and you you have some that claim Moors because yeah you got Jake thinking they Moors uh, as a nationality um, but the, the funny thing is both those places had Negro Israelites you know what I'm saying Jews there ne Negroes Jews in, in e Egypt and then with the Moranos or the Moors uh, in, in Europe you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it, it's funny, you know, uh, that that he's saying that. But, yeah, it's just like these dudes, uh, he says something else. He blasphemed because he keeps saying, uh, I don't I don't even want to say it. Uh, but let me see if I can find it real quick. But, yeah, but you, you these camps, because, you know, I remember this brother I used to teach with. He always used to be like, it's these men's fault. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's you men's fault for uh you know letting these uh you know these clowns in you know and they blaspheming okay so i'm trying to find what when he said okay right here he says you're you're reading a freemason bible the freemasons worship satan black jesus aka you know what he's saying so y'all letting him blaspheme okay so all, all you camps need to fall back man Okay, so, and, and let the real teachings or the, the, the real knowledge come out. Because, yeah, these dudes don't even know simple history. Like, again, they thinking everybody in America was the same. They can't get the Mongol thing. They can't get uh, the $5 Indian thing. Okay, so, I mean, y'all need to fall back. All right, man, because it, it's, just, it's just getting ridiculous now how, how y'all, these guys letting, letting these dudes uh, come and attack uh 
attack us, you know, yet and then they, they making videos against us talking about they Israel and all, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's just crazy. All right. So, um, but e even what I was saying with going back also, this is the last thing before I get into it, but, um, cause yeah, he was talking about the, the Zonda van again. So yeah, about how I was saying, I was just saying how it's, it says some are white Ethiopians, but I, I'll cut him with, cause we know that the, the Zonda van also says ready is in uh, in contrast to the dark skin of the Hebrews so even that is a, is a cut you know what I'm saying but just just to point out that he want to use that but I, I'm gonna deal with that so uh let's let's get let's go all right so this is the Smith's Bible dictionary all right damn so Ethiopia just get into the point settled by a hermetic race dark men of stature and fine looking okay so that's what the ethiopians are don't say nothing about no white ethiopians and i mean if anything it's because yeah they mixed in okay and yeah like if, if they're mixed with negro or something but like for instance south africa people thinking uh charlize theron and all of that is is african you know what i'm saying so people are dumb all right, but it, down here it says Ethiopian, black man, Jeremiah 13, 23. All right, so bam, e even looking in, at this image, Ethiopians. Okay, so ain't no no damn white uh, uh, white Ethiopians. So that's a cut to you, Mexicana. Okay, so this is the ultimate apocrypha collection. Okay, this is a lot of the, the New Testament books that was taken out. And this is uh, the first gospel of the infancy of Yahushua Hamashiach or Yahushai. And it says, this is 17, uh, chapter 17 and 9. And it says, I'm going to start at verse 8. Then they immediately worshiped the Lord uh, Yahushua and blessed, uh, uh, beseeched him saying, O Lord, Yahushua, son of Mary, thou art truly that good shepherd of Israel. Have mercy on thy handmaids who stand before thee, who do no doubt, but that thou, uh, O Lord, are come to save and not to destroy. After that, when the Lord Yahushua said, the children of Israel are like Ethiopians among the people, the, woman, the women said, thou, Lord, knowest all things, nor is anything concealed from thee, but now we entreat thee and beseech of thy mercy that uh, thou wouldest restore thy boys to their former state. Okay, so yes, it keeps, why Why does we keep being compared to Ethiopians? If it's not just all about, okay, the sin and everything, which I'm, I'm about to uh, further show that it actually has to do with the physical. So yes, Amos 9 and 7, uh, yeah, it does also represent, yeah, the, the look of the nation. Alright, so this is to Cytus, the stories. So I, sh I put it on the comment board, but I wanted to actually just prove all things. All right, so I'm gonna go. So lock you for uh, holding the camera like this. But this is page 272. All right, so, and this is, uh, the chapter is called The Jews. All right, so I'm gonna get to the point. It says, many assure us that the Jews are descended from those Ethiopians who were driven by fear and hatred uh, to immigrate uh, from their home country when Saifus was king. And again, he wanna say, isn't that the same thing that the Greek uh, told Paul? Aren't you that Ethiopian, you know, that made us a, I mean, a Salakia, that Egyptian, that made us an uproar so that that's the same thing they saying but i got another so if, if somebody want to scoff and say oh well that's not really saying that they're like you know ethiopian and look okay well yeah let, let me let me you know i always love bringing out multiple sources so let's get it okay so this is the history of the jews this is in the josephus all right, so it's uh, book five, chapter two. So get you know, get into the point. Um, basically, yeah, I'm gonna get get to the point. So it says the greatest part 
right here. The greatest part say that they were those Ethiopians whom fear and hatred obliged to change their habitation in the reign of King uh, Saifus. Okay, so in this one it says they were those Ethiopians. So again, as I say, one one is saying, and I believe in the, I don't have the translation that says they were the color of the Ethiopians, but this alone just shows you one is saying they descend from Ethiopians, which is the same thing. Their origins, they descend from Ethiopians, meant that they come from those people, which were dark-skinned people, black, African, stupid. So that, that meant that, yeah, they would look like those people. So likewise here, that they, they were those Ethiopians. You know, I don't have to do, you know, making comprehension. You know, I got to break down comprehension now. It says, yeah, again, read it again. The greatest part say they were those Ethiopians. Okay, but just like Paul, he was, uh, you were that Egyptian. No, nah, I'm a, I, but what did Paul say? I'm a Jew. Okay, so yes, they were compared to Africans for all you stupid, uh, you know, oh, you guys is Canaan or you, you I call y'all Hethos, but Hetho only. Okay, so yeah, y'all Hetho only. Uh, you know, running your mouth, you know, especially this guy, Mexica. On to the next and before I bring this out because I was trying to find this on uh, online but yeah certain translations take this part out what I'm about to bring out so I'm just showing you uh, yeah these, these demons Esau you know trying to hide the truth this is the nail in the coffin that's why I saved this for last so this is uh, the book called uh, Joseph and Asenith which when you read Genesis the 41st chapter uh, Pharaoh gave uh, his daughter to Joseph okay so this is uh, the book based off of that and that's why yeah it's good to get in some of these lost books because you know they prove points they give further understanding all right so um, you know let's get it so it's chapter 22 and they're going to see Jacob uh, and it says uh, verse 7 it says Asenath saw him talking about Jacob and was amazed at his beauty because Jacob was exceedingly beautiful to look at and his old age was like the youth of a handsome young man ain't, ain't, don't they say black don't crack so I, I know that go over people heads but yeah that's you know showing you that these these were Negroes okay black people okay but if, if that's not enough let's let's continue and his head was all white as snow. Okay, didn't, didn't we hear that? We heard that in Revelations 1 when the Lord, you know, head head in his hair is white like wool, as white, uh, white as snow. Uh, uh, Salakia, white as snow. Okay, so um, it says, And the head, hairs of his head were all exceedingly close, thick like those of an Ethiopian. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nah, because I, I don't think I read it right. All exceedingly close, thick, like those of an Ethiopian. Nah, I got that that right. Alright, <laughs> so just showing y'all, man. Yeah, this clown. So yes, when the scriptures are saying the Most High is comparing us to Ethiopians, yes, it's twofold. Okay, so yeah, this clown talking about, but you can't debunk that. So Jacob had hair like an Ethiopian, all right? And I, I'll show what a, a, a picture of what the a Ethiopian's hair looked like. Okay, so yes, the Jews was compared to Hamitic nations, black, other melanated people, okay? It wasn't, wasn't no damn Hito and Spaniard, Mongoloid looking people, all right? So, um, yeah, that, that's, that was it right, and, and regarding, uh, that was it regarding, um, the whole, uh, Amos nine and seven thing. He think he debunked, but I wanted to show another gym. Okay. So this is the last thing I wanted to show. Cause I know, uh, Yehuda was, he, he was always bringing this out, which I got the Josephus, uh, which it's, uh, page. Uh, I got the book here here right next to me, but I believe it's page seven seven eighty four if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, seven eighty four. Okay, and it would be one seventy three. 
and that is uh, chapter 22. All right, but because the he was bringing out about the sooty, uh, sooty part, and I, I wanted to show something. Now uh, let's let's read it. It says at last, and it's talking about uh, the guy Corellius right here. Uh, and it says, at the last there passed over a people wonderful to be beheld, for they spake the Phoenician tongue, or the Hebrew tongue, with their mouths. They dwelt in the Solomon Mountains near a broad lake. Their heads were sooty. They had uh, round uh, rushers on them. Their heads and faces were like the nasty horse, which the nasty horse is brown. It's like uh, shades of brown. Okay. Also that they had been hardened in the smoke. I think therefore that it is evident to everybody that uh, Corellius means us because the Suleiman Mountains are in our country. And this is Josephus speaking. So it's a cut showing you that he was talking about himself. So the Jews. All right. So um, and like I said, I gave you I gave you all the page number. So if you all want to verify that, but it's clearly saying what what it's saying. So let's get it. Sooty. All right. So three is what I wanted of a black, blackish or dusky color. So that's just established that city was describing or the, the word city was describing the Jews. OK, so a black, blackish, dusky color similar to what? Swarthy, dark skinned, dark complected, dusky. All right, I don't even got to go all into it. We see what it's saying. Okay, so both of those things are synonymous, and the Jews, through that, through Josephus' time, through the uh, the Moors or the Moranos, uh, were being called swarthy. Okay, so the, these terms always been applied to Jews. Okay, to Israelites. All right, so but this is what I I wanted right here. So, bam, because I I was looking into the the eth ethnic slurs. You know what I'm saying? Which, yeah, which these men talk about. We don't fit the curses, but damn near this whole page is more stuff on us than anybody else. So, yes, we fit Deuteronomy 28 and 37, which being called a wetback and a spick can also apply to Afro-Latinos. All right. So, yeah, just, yeah, them, them so uh, one or two things y'all got compared to the tons. y'all. But y'all want to open your mouths and talk about we not under the curses and we Canaanites. But let's drop down here. So sooty. So we, we done prove that Jews was called that. And guess what? In America, a black person originated in the U.S. in the 1950s was called that same exact word. Okay, so somebody might be, oh, sooty just means, well, they, the heads were sooty, black, dusky, point blank, period. Okay, but we see that it was an actual term for a black person in the Americas or the yeah the Americas okay Negro all right so I mean I don't know what these dudes is talking about but they they can't stand uh, with us you know what I'm saying they can't stand and again like I said I'm mad at a lot of these camp camp dudes you know what I'm saying let letting all this stuff slide but as I said y'all continue to teach our false doctrine the truth is going to continue to flourish Okay, all praises to the Most High through His Son. Okay, and with that, I say shalom.